What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon. The channel's 540 Flips. Uh, it's been a little bit since I did a video. I've actually recorded some footage, but uh, I'm trying something different. So hopefully this can get me into a more consistent pattern. Uh, I used to hope the audio sounds good too, uh, but I used to run the little mod with the microphone on it and it dawned on me that's part of the reason why I get so frustrated with using the GoPro for recording videos because I have to take everything off of the clip here, the, the handle, the chest mount, like all that stuff has to come off when my battery dies or whatever, when I need to change the SD card. And it just got frustrating. It would get really confusing. So I'm going to try it now without the little mic mod. It might have just been overkill. I might not have needed that. Uh, we'll see how it sounds and, and all of that and go from there. Hoping this works because this would be a lot easier for me to swap out batteries and all that stuff. But anyway, enough of that. If you're new here, uh, I, me and my wife, we go around sourcing items to resell on eBay. We try to find cool things at a good price that have some value that other people may enjoy. We also do a little bit of shopping for ourselves while we're out looking. Not going to lie, some things are just too cool to sell. So if you enjoy that kind of content, if you enjoy seeing what sells on eBay, just talking about the reseller, uh, you know, uh, genre, um, you know, seeing things that are bought and sold, that sort of thing. If you enjoy that, stick around, hit the subscribe button, give the videos a thumbs up and comment down below. Uh, but anyway, going to get into it this morning. It is Monday morning, so happy Monday. Uh, it's almost 930. I've been kind of tinkering with some stuff this morning but i got a busy day ahead because there's a lot of ebay sales i got to get packed up i uh, also have a card order that i need to get uh boxed up and all that shipped out um and then i need to list i i felt under the weather yesterday not 100 percent today but i need to get stuff listed i didn't do any listings yesterday uh, obviously you know fridays and saturdays are sourcing days so i got a, some listed not a ton uh, but i need to get back on listing i did go out and buy a little i'm gonna call it my motivation board i see a lot of people use them i want to try it myself and see if that can keep me uh motivated listing and consistent you know and also help me track like how much i'm doing each day and uh see if that helps out as well so let's get into the sales we have a full table here. Always good to see that. Um, let me get into the, the order details here. So we're going to go with this first. It's a little uh, American flag OHT. Uh, this did $9 plus shipping on that. We got several hats going out as you can see. Uh, next up is a Mossy Oak fishing hat. This one was $10 plus shipping little nice mossy oak blue mesh fishing hat there uh, next up this is going international a little cannon power shot a490 has the box and all of that 44.99 plus shipping there that's going out international next up a 1978 this little guy is cool coleco electronic quarterback now this came from a buy uh, I didn't get to do a video on, obviously. I uh, said I did some content, but I've re, uh, deleted it. Um, last Sunday, me and her found a yard sale that there was a bunch of old vintage toys. Many of them were still in the boxes. It was too cool to pass up. I thought I had overpaid on everything, but there's a gem in there that it hasn't sold yet, but it's priced very, very high because I realized everything inside of it was still sealed. One side of the box was opened. Uh, but anyway, for the entire haul, which this is only two pieces of it, there was like 13 or 14 pieces total or something, was $130. So this little Coleco guy, he sold for $59.99 plus shipping. And then we'll jump over to this one, the Merlin. It is in there in the box. The little It looks like a little phone. Uh, this is from 1978, the Ep Electronic Wizard handheld game. This also sold for $59.99 plus ship. Uh, so, you know, obviously before fees and all that stuff, there is $120 right there. And I spent $130 total on everything. Uh, next is that white 
Jordan Jumpman little uh, bucket hat back there that did 1450 plus shipping. Uh, we do have Bonnie Funko Pop that was $49.99 free shipping. Um, skillet here, this is a square uh, cast iron skillet that did $39.99 plus ship. Got a little Connor McDavid card there, die cut from Metal Universe, the Cheddar. That was $5 plus eBay standard envelope. Over here, this one, uh, Larry Walker, uh, Finest Masters Refractor, $3.99 plus eBay standard envelope. A uh, little pin right here, a little Star Wars pin. That did $9.99 plus ship. Uh, this little guy right here, this was actually... Uh, pretty cool find. It looked old. It looked neat enough to look up. Um, it's actually a 1950s Nestor Johnson hand cranking card shuffler. That's a mouthful to say, but $39.99 plus ship on that. I picked it up for five bucks. Uh, a Washington Nationals t-shirt. Um, kind of like an athletic, uh, lightweight, kind of dry fit material. That did $12.99 plus ship. I'm surprised. This guy right here, he was a Friday estate sale find. I got to this estate sale late. Um, but I seen this, and it was on a table along with another big figure, even taller than this, of Spiro Agnew. Had a couple bumper stickers, a George Bush golf ball, just a bunch of neat stuff. Um, they had everything priced at $45. I almost just went and said sold. But then I noticed the Spiro Agnew, his arm and his tennis racket had a crack in them. And so I went and asked the lady if I could just buy like, you know, the other pieces. And she's like, I tell you what, if you'll take everything so I don't have to deal with this other figure, I'll do $30. And I was like, all right, I'll take it. Well, little did I know because my phone service didn't work. Ronald Reagan here was pretty pricey. Spiro Agnew is even more pricey and I'm likely going to list him even damaged. But this Reagan sold within 16, it was less than 16 hours for $189.99 plus shipping. So, and he does have a little chip there. He has a little chip back there on his head and then one down on his base. Um, but $189.99 plus shipping on that. So, uh, follow your gut sometimes. If it looks cool and it's not too overly expensive, pick it up because... Even without finding comps, um, I just figured, you know, it was a pretty cool piece. So, uh, next up is a Bowman Chrome Purple Mojo Alejandro Pie. That went for $1.50 plus eBay standard envelope. Donkey Kong hat was $12.99 plus shipping. A little 2011 Hulk Hogan Mattel uh, wrestling action figure, $10.99 plus shipping. Um, this little Oneida uh four footed creamer that did five dollars plus shipping and then i do want to talk about this hat back here i do have it bagged up uh, that's a 511 uh tactical firefighter hat um so why is that sitting there um well i sold it i think thursday or friday of last week and uh i made a mistake i i pride myself on sending out items packaging you know all that stuff uh but i made a mistake and i had a thin blue line hat that was similar to this hat with the uh american flag on it had the little thin blue line and when i when i seen the sale pop up i think i had in like the title first responders or something like that and for some reason my brain went to that hat and I didn't confirm with my listing and um, I thought I grabbed the right hat, packaged it, went back later on and was leaving all my feedback and I noticed the hat in the thumbnail and I was like, wait a second, he bought the firefighter hat, which was the 511 Tactical, not the one I sold. So I messaged the buyer, uh, he hasn't responded, hopefully he sees my message. Uh, I messaged him and told him, look, I made a mistake. You're going to be getting a hat in, but it's not the hat you ordered. Keep the hat you receive, and I'm sending you the other one out at no extra charge. Keep them both. Um, you know, least I can do, hopefully, you know, being a, hopefully if he is a firefighter, he has some police buddies, maybe he can pass along the police hat. 
Um, but there was no sense in me asking him to take time out of his day to repackage the hat and get him to, you know, take it to the post office or whatever. You know, it, it, it is what it is. It was my mistake, my fault. And, uh, you know, it's going to cost me like 15, 20 bucks. This hat, the, what I made on that one is now going to be like wiped out. Plus I'm going to lose the other sale. Um, but it is what it is. You know, it's just a lesson. Uh, you can do, you know, a thousand things right, but that thousand and one, you might make a mistake. So, um, I'm not going to be too hard on myself because I do, you know, I do try my best, but it's also a reminder that that uh always you know double check yourself because mistakes happen but um if you do make a mistake just fess up to it and uh you know pass pass it along like I, i'm not gonna ask that guy to take time out of his day it was his it was my fault not his um so he gets an additional hat hopefully he can pass it along to a police officer so anyway that's all i got for you guys it was quick i wanted to uh check this out and see how it sounded without the mic attachment thing and uh just get a video up i i know it's been about a week now but figured i would share the monday sales uh total price on all this stuff i think is i think it was like 770 but i don't quote me on that that's just a a rough estimate off the top of my head so um anyway enough rambling i got work to do hope y'all have a wonderful monday i will probably check in with you guys a little bit later but that's all i got for you guys now What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, checking back in. I'm going to combine yesterday's uh, sales that I shared with you guys as well with today's, which today is, for reference, is Tuesday, June 13th, and it is 2.57 p.m. currently. I uh, have a few items to you know share and go out or to get packed up to go out. Uh, sales overall today... Though, I don't know if eBay is doing something or what's going on, uh, but today has been relatively quiet. Uh, I have one completed sale. Uh, I have had a couple lowball offers come in. Um, a couple, like I had an offer on an item that I listed, and it wasn't even five minutes later, a guy met, or not an offer, but he messaged uh, asking if I could go lower, something about he didn't have the money right now. And so I, I messaged back and was like, you know, look, I just listed this, not ready to discount it quite yet. Um, I've had a couple offers recently on a Jeff Gordon jacket I have listed. I It kind of feels like, and I'm going to show you guys with one of the items I sold, kind of feels like maybe the vintage uh clothing and hat market is maybe picking up a little bit right now or i i'm just noticing a little bit i don't know uh listed a, i've listed clothes this morning i was working on busting out clothes listings i have so many clothes that i need to get listed and it takes so much time um i've been working on that this morning so um a few items i have listed has already gotten some interest but uh, I, I'm not desperate to sell it. I just want to get it listed basically. Um, and I try to list things fair, but I don't, you know, if it's an item that I don't really know a solid, uh, value of, I will list it a little bit higher and field offers, but the offers have to make sense. And, um, if I have something priced and it's within range of what I've seen other sales of like items or that specific item, I'm not going to just give my stuff away. You know, I'm okay with making deals with people, but I'm not going to cut myself, you know, short, especially not right after I list something. It just doesn't make any sense. So, uh, so far today, things have been relatively quiet. I've had one sale and it's not a big sale at all. Um, but not going to complain, going to keep pushing, keep listing and all that. Um, I am going to try to get some more clothes. Clothes just take so damn long to list. I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything, but I have a bulk amount of it. I have tons of like tubs and totes full of clothes that I do need to get up, whether it's jackets or whatever. You know, I know people really don't need a jacket in the middle of July, but 
the stuff still sells as you'll see that there's an item in this that sold uh that doesn't make a lot of sense for june but people shop year round i guess and uh anyway enough chit chat let's get into some sales we will go over this you see here it's not as not as heavy as uh what i shared yesterday that is today's lonely sale right there it is a 2000 skybox the bomb peyton manning that sold for 399 plus ebay standard envelope uh here we got some good old reebok classics with the uh, gum bottom there very nice shape these things were pretty clean i think we got them for like five bucks i think at a yard sale uh, a few weeks back um, those went for $24.99 plus shipping there. Uh, this is a vintage uh, NHRA, NHRA National Hot Rod Association Top Eliminator Club members only. Um, you see there, $19.99, Pomona, California. Um, drag racing hat, that did $10 plus shipping. This is the item I was talking about. It is June and somebody is preparing for Christmas. They bought a set of Wilton a 10 piece Christmas cookie cutter set been sitting in the store for a while um, it finally sold six dollars plus shipping on that uh, this electric forest got an offer on that last night I have sold one of these before I bought I bought two of them uh, found them a while back at a goodwill I think I paid like 350 or four bucks per um, I sold one for 60 this one uh someone sent an offer out i uh, took 45 plus shipping on it um it was missing the little sticker right here otherwise it's brand new it does still have the tag there um so 45 plus shipping on that one and then this was a really cool item here uh this we had picked up at the 100 mile yard sale here in virginia um really nice kawasaki uh, single stitch pretty cool graphic on it um overall very clean shirt very nice shirt um this is an example where i could not find this shirt anywhere but i looked at other like similar kawasaki vintage single stitch t-shirts to try to get feelers on what would be good but since i could not find this specific one and since it was in great condition I threw it up for a hundred or best offer. I was not expecting a hundred dollars on this, but I would rather price high and field offers and just see where I'm at, see what interests are at. If it sells immediately, you know that a hundred wasn't enough, but you know, at least it gives you a, a ballpark, right? Well, I got an offer yesterday, $60. Now, normally, you know, 40% off of asking price is kind of, you know a reach and i would likely counter the person however because i knew this item i had priced it high specifically not knowing what it actually would sell for and because i bought this for a quarter 60 dollars was a very appealing offer so i accepted and this sold for 60 plus shipping so there's a situation um you know, sometimes people are going to send you an offer of 50% off what you're asking or whatever. And you're like, what is this person thinking? Uh, this was a situation, the person, you know, they sent me 60 bucks and it was 40% off. They took the chance. The worst I could have said was no. In my scenario, I could have tried to get a few dollars more out of it, but I just turned a quarter into $60. I'm not going to complain about that. And uh, I feel, you know... This was a big win for me, and hopefully the buyer, you know, feels like he got a great buy as well. So there you have it. Um, that's the sales. Uh, sometimes you just got to, like, I have a few other shirts that I just cannot find a value on. They're kind of unique shirts, or when you get into the vintage stuff, there just might not be any of them out there or any sales of shirts um, that uh, the ones like you have. And sometimes you just have to look at other other items that are similar, um, get an idea, you know, also think about the, the time, the, the, 
you know, what is in um, the time period maybe that the shirt is from. Is this something that's popular? Is this something that has a following? And then just kind of, you know, go from there and use your best judgment. That shirt, I honestly, I didn't know if I would get anywhere close to $100. Um, I, and like I said, I could have tried to push the needle a little bit. But at the same time, I could have also lost a $60 sale on an item I paid a quarter for. So uh, just, you know, use use common sense when you have the items like that. And uh, if it's a good profit margin and there's nothing solid out there as far as comps and you're making really good profit on something, sometimes it's best to just be like Elsa and let it go. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and combine yesterday's and today's into one video. That way you all get to see like what it looks like coming out of a weekend and then what it looks like coming out of a Monday. And, uh, you know, unfortunately today has been quiet. Normally uh, Tuesdays are not this dead. I don't know if eBay's doing something today or what's going on. Um, but hopefully the, the, the sales start picking up throughout the rest of the day and uh when i get on tomorrow i've got some more stuff to show you so hope you guys have a wonderful day as always i'll catch you in the next one